Today, we have professional drifters here to break down amateur drifting fails and tell us how you can avoid ending up in the drifting hall of shame. Let's see that first clip. Oh boy. Uh oh, oh boy. Uh -oh. Oh boy. Crowd in the street, I, I see already starting bad. Silverado. Going uh -oh. right to the uh -oh. curb. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh my god. Oh, and he's still in it. His foot is just to the floor still. Look at the spin. Look, look at the, like, little <laughs> thing. <laughs> My name is Dylan Hughes. I drive Formula Drift Pro 1. I drive the Royal Purple BMW E46 on GT radial tires with a 950 wheel horsepower 2JZ in it. I cannot stress this enough. Wherever you look is where you're gonna go every time. So maybe he was looking to the outside and you're gonna go on that wide line. If you pick your eyes up and move to the inside, easy as that, I swear to you, the vehicle will follow everything. Very interesting. So when do you think this driver could have saved this little power slide? Um, or when he got there... up in the morning, I think he could have just stayed home. I mean, that <laughs> would have been a bit... He did right on his initiation, so he probably turned the wheel in, set the weight to the outside of the car, gave it a whole bunch of skinny pedal, it steps out, and then he proceeded to probably counter steer just a little bit. You see how the wheels are turned a little bit. He just initiated full throttle, and the vehicle stepped out. His eyes were out wide and he just kept it to the floor. Nothing horrible, the rig's not totaled, but he's not driving at home. Saw that coming. Yeah, from a mile away. I can't say I didn't do anything when I was young and dumb, right. or even dumb now. Bruh. But in a public road. Come on. My name is Adam Knappick, and I'm a professional driver in the Formula Drift series since 2017. Good luck and bad luck, but it's all still fun in the end as well. Next clip. Woo, we're already in the action. Oh, he's all ripping. right. He's ripping. He's going hard. Nice. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that is the last <laughs> thing you want to happen. You, you got to admire his, like, reach for the wheel on the center like that was going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not notice that? I was looking through the window. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. This definitely feels like Japan vibes, and he kind of has that style where he like flicked it back to angle like that. But dude, that that hub adapter did him no favors. No. Probably just a piece of crap hub adapter, honestly. You know, he's been clicking that thing on and off for there every time he goes and drives uh, one of these Japanese tracks every weekend. And uh, it's one of those things where you don't really think about it ever failing, but like. That could really be a bummer if it did fail. That actually happened to me. I was uh, yeah. driving up in the canyons and it popped off. At least it wasn't like mid corner, yeah. like not too bad. And so I was able like to grab, like, grab the whole hub and just Come slow down, down. Yeah. Yeah. and kind of question life. It's oh my God, I won't die. Well, that's what happens when you're drifting. You, you're really pushing a car to its limits. You're doing things it probably shouldn't be doing uh, and stuff tends to fail. If you don't want to break stuff, don't get into drifting. It's not for you. Because you will break stuff. Because you will break stuff. <laughs> Let's go to the next clip. A Z. Ooh, near and dear to our hearts now. Yeah. Looks like a cool track. Okay. He's getting it. That wheel looks like it's doing some moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Those are loose lug nuts if I've ever seen them. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says. They always say they torque them down. They blame spacers. They mm -hmm. do all types of stuff. It's always the lug nuts. People forget that metal yeah. expands and contrasts under like hot and cold temperatures. Yeah. So and especially when you're doing drifting and a bunch of clutch kicking oh, and yeah. like just like shock loading the the drive line. Yeah. Stuff can loosen up. You should always retorque your wheels every couple laps. It's really not hard to do. Absolutely. Just have a checklist in your head. Like the big ones are just is obviously a nut and bolt check with uh, torquing down the lug nuts because mm -hmm. that that'll cause a big problem. And then make sure your safety stuff is yep. okay. Make sure your uh, steering wheel is really attached. clicked in there. <laughs> Accountability is key for sure. There's one dude that does the torquing, and if something goes wrong, then exactly. Yeah. Make sure you go prep your car before you go stress it out. All right. Welcome to the island of Oahu, home to tranquil beaches lush rainforest and an adrenaline packed all year round festival designed exclusively for you this is the crew motor fest available now and guess what i'm in the game whether you want to tear up the streets of honolulu get all muddy on a volcano or just cruise the beach with friends. Motorfest brings together over 600 vehicles to help you embark on the automotive adventure of a lifetime. One of the best new features is the playlist, a series of unique campaigns celebrating all aspects of car culture. Everything from vintage classics to electric supercars. And if you love donuts, 
you're gonna love the donut playlist that I've got planned for you. I'm gonna be there personally, challenging your skills in a high-low time attack, a multi race, and more. The Crew Motor Fest is available right now on these platforms. See you in Hawaii. Let's go to the next clip. Decided to remove oh some spokes from my wheel. Uh oh. Oh, that's wagon. Sick, dude. Oh, he's coming in. Europe. Yeah, oh, for sure. Coming in, coming in. Clip. Wow. <laughs> Chunky. Hey. Yeah, I mean, them's the brakes, baby. Yeah, man. I, honestly, that's not too bad. I yeah. mean, that's just. Shit happens, man. Yeah. You know, somebody. It wasn't either. like he flew in on him or no. anything crazy. Like, they're looking pretty good. He just got a little too close with his wheel to the other guy's wheel. Yeah, just two boys having fun. That's a respectable clip. I'm, yeah. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, same. Probably the one biggest thing in drifting is if you over rotate, mm. you can't get back on the throttle. Because if you get back on the throttle when you're already over rotating, you're just going to loop it, right? Mm -hmm. We all kind of know that. So, really, the biggest thing is if he threw too much angle, then maybe the dude in the, cha in the chase was diving in, mm -hmm. which once you kind to commit to that dive, you're pretty much committed. So 36 bro in the back, the purple guy just came in a little bit hot and gave him a little touch. Drifting is a lot to me about wisdom. It isn't really like necessarily like the new fast kid like it is in racing. Yeah, it's it's about being in a situation under pressure and making a split second decision and the right split second decision. I bet neither of them were like upset. Dude, they were probably like yeah. stoked giving high fives. <laughs> like you broke my stuff, dude. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're a weird bunch. This next clip is one of the biggest drifting wins our director Tony has ever seen, so let's see why. Yes, ah, yeah, I've seen I this know guy. this guy. Yeah. He's Polish, so that's like kind of close to me as well. Yeah. Dude, that's they love rad. drifting over there. That's rad, dude. <laughs> Way to not let anything like hold you back. Right, dude. Like, I like drifting and all I got is feet. Right. That just that's goes cool. to show you can do anything if you put your mind to it. And I guess your feet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. The dexterity that that would take, like, oh, oh my goodness. I don't even think I, I could not do that. Like one thousand percent, I could not do that. Do you know of any other drifters with unique personalized setups like this? Rob Chairslayer. So he had a spinal cord injury, I believe, from riding dirt bikes, and he was able to overcome this. He pretty much does everything with his hands. He still has full dexterity in both of his arms, so pretty much complete opposite of him. But like, dude, figure it out, and he shreds. Cool. Let's go to the next clip. A little POV action. What One hand. No, 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 okay. No. GoPro. What the hunt? Got the friend filming. Ooh, ooh a little bit. Was that oh. him like, oh, no, oh, lost him. <laughs> oh, no. oh, it just oh, kept going. man. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even have a shoe uh, knob. <laughs> he didn't even have a knob. Oh. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that immediate like, regret? Like, yeah. right before you crash, you, like, you make the weirdest yeah. noise. Like, you know it's happening. You're like, no! Oh! Oh! If you're driving on ice, you just need to get to where you're going and sit down. <laughs> but, uh, but snow can be a good, like, you know, learning process. Yeah. Driving in some good fluffy snow, you lose a little traction. You gotta, you know, do some counter steering. For sure. You know, not that I'm recommending anything on public roads. Not at all. I mean, that guy was doing okay, but then you got to a point where he just didn't have just any didn't steering. Have Do you want less traction? or more traction while you're drifting? I think that a lot of that depends on, one, your level of driving, and two, your car. Less grip would probably be better for somebody who's just learning, because you don't really have to be as, as far ahead of the car, in my opinion. You don't really have to be ready for the car to snap back, because once you start putting a lot of grip into the car, um, it makes those transitions much more snappy and much more violent, and you have to be much more committed. Somewhere kind of in the middle, in my opinion, like, if you could take, like, say, stock tires on your E36, you know, I would tow it out all the way to try and take some grip out of it. I would make sure the sway bars are on there and weld the diff and then juice your tires up to 60 or 70 just so you can get to brake loose a little bit easier because at the end of the day, a fast drift car is like the sickest thing ever to drive. All right, now let's take a look at drifting in the snow done right. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, box truck! <laughs> what? Yeah. Truck getting doors? <laughs> the guy in the red car is moving, and that's his moving company. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, we're, we getting there. Oh my god. The dude in the chase is the most Im impressive to me, being like that massive wind sail that is that box truck. Not right? to mention it's a dually. I've never drifted a dually before. I don't know about you guys. I don't know, future video idea. They're locked into the radius. They have the perfect amount of throttle in the whole thing. Their steering doesn't look like they're making a bunch of corrections. They're just set. Big old truck drifting. I mean, 
Why can it do that? Well, because it's rear wheel drive, and that's really about it. And because it's snowy, I guess. Yeah. To drift a car, all it needs to be is rear wheel drive. Yeah. How good you want to be at it, then that's how when yeah. you get modifications and everything. But you could just go out there in a stock rear wheel drive car as long as the back end locks up. Yeah. Just get better and just spend that money and seat time. Have fun with yeah. it. Yeah. Learn some car control. Learn yeah. how to kick it out and catch it. On the track. Yeah, on the track. <laughs> Let's see the next clip. Yeah. OK. Oh! <laughs> He had those puppies aired up. He, dude, that, I mean, did the, was the quarter panel always like that? Yeah, we got a fresh quarter panel at this point in time. And oh. then we don't. Oh, Real quick. man, the damage. Oh, uh, yes, the dude, just Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. That was amazing. Whoa. He's like, yeah, what's up? I just totaled my rig. All right. This isn't drifting. This isn't drifting. This is one of those, what, what do you call these? That's called a one-tire fire, and a pretty <laughs> stellar one at that. I'll give him that. What's really common in like the burnout scene is you just get old like tires, cheap and stuff, tires. Yeah. And so when tires are old and all that, they're more brittle. I think that tire was probably like a dry-rotted tire, and it just, oh, most likely. that dude was to the floor, and then like because that thing is leaned over so much. Oh, that's what happened. It touched back. Down. Touch back down, and I'm sure that th that tire is probably doing 120 miles an hour, oh, yeah. and it's probably some old thing because he knew he's gonna go out there and burn them off for yeah. the crowd. So mm -hmm. he's like, I'm just gonna burn these things up. Yeah, I mean tires, especially when you got them cranked up, which this guy obviously did, yeah. uh, they can be dangerous. So watch keep that kids. in mind. By the way, if you have a video you think we should watch on this channel, you can send it to us at realmechanicstuff.com. So head on over there. Even if you don't have a rear-wheel drive car, there's still a way to make your car slide. Let's see what this Ford Fiesta owner did. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. Dude, did, did I, there, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. We literally just said McDonald's trays. <laughs> McDonald's trays. Oh, it's a four-door Fiesta, yeah. too. So oh, he locks man. the e-brake, and then he's just out there, like, dragging them around. Dragging them around. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, dude. I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, that was a go-to. That was a staple. Yeah, I did that. Same. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, that is, it's fun. Yeah. It's uh, sort of like drifting. Yeah, I mean, it's, I get it. It's It's honestly, it's harmless. Yeah. It's, you know, uh, they're in the back of some warehouse yeah. place. They're just Which having cool. a good time. Yeah, they're not putting anybody at risk. No. And uh, right. it is fun. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully they didn't steal those from McDonald's. Yeah. I for sure didn't. Next clip. There are three pedals in a drift car, and you only have two feet. If you don't master the pedals, you're almost guaranteed to fail while drifting. So let's see a technique popularized by the drift king himself, Keiichi Tsuchiya. Ah, uh, yes, the uh, red shoes and the green yeah. suit. Ah, uh, uh, all right, so. Heel toe action? This is heel toe, one of the toughest things besides left foot braking <laughs> to learn while driving a car. Oh, that light toe right on the throttle. All right, Adam, we have got set up here a uh, car. Wow, it's yeah. really nice. So I want you to pretend to drive. Right. So we're in we're fourth. Moving, dude. We're smashing, just yeah. going for it. Corner's coming up. Yep. We need to slow down. Yep. We need to be in third gear, right. if not possibly second. We're going to slam on the brakes until we need to apply the clutch. Put this thing into the gear, start revving this puppy mm. up. That's really it. You want to roll this over because technically you'll have a little bit more play. Yep. Once the RPMs are matched, you just release that clutch. Be it smooth or aggressive, depends on the situation that yep. you're in. That's the, the quick and dirty of it. That's heel towing in a nutshell. How hard would you say it is to do? Honestly, it is quite difficult. Yep. Ankle's got to be flexible. Yep. A lot of people don't kind of think of that. Yep. You got to know the sensitivity on a brake because it's easy to over brake yep. it. In the <laughs> there is a couple different ways that you can initiate a drift, say if you're going to use the handbrake, and that's just kind of getting your left foot used to going clutch in, pulling the handbrake. And that's all about timing because when you clutch in, that disconnects your engine from your rear tires. You pull the handbrake, that's gonna lock your rear tires. Similar to like if you were riding a BMX bike. You grab that back brake and it swings the back end out. It's basically the same thing in car version. Let's go to the next clip. Oh, oh yes, oh. almost took oh. my daily. Oh, 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 he didn't hit. Oof. Did he hit the front? He didn't hit anything. Oh. Oh, lucky. Yeah, lucky. The best is that they give him props. I don't know if they actually think he had a skill set and wanted yeah. to do that. He locked out. Yes. I'm sure as he's dapping them up, he's <laughs> like. <laughs>
Next time his friends are like, yo, let's go back to that parking lot. It's rainy. He's going to be like, oh, oh dude, I'm I actually got, got work, dude. And my girlfriend, oh, and it's like, like crazy. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next clip. Ah, oh, yes. yeah, I've seen this one. Uh-huh, 360 entry. Yeah. Pretty nicely executed. Pretty good. And into a nice setup for the next good one. Good flow. Yeah, right? We great. know that track really well, yep. right? We go to yep. ABS to get them out. That's uh, about as good as it gets. That's I mean, pretty good, yeah. yeah. I think a little bit of luck was on the smooth. side. Yeah, probably so, but it, isn't it always the case? Always. What's great about that is when I see guys do 360s, they do a 360, then the car kind of bobbles back and they yeah. keep in it. Yeah, but This was like still it. smooth. Yeah. It, was, it, it was good, it was cool. That's why it got so many views, it yeah. went around. Dude, it, that was so clean. Yeah. How hard is it to do a 360? It's weird, and I've definitely blown out a steering rack doing it before. Oh. So really, to me, this is kind of like a slingshot method. He's gonna use his front end to snap this thing around, and he's gonna load it up. So he flicks it out this way, then he steers into it, and instead of turning the wheel and then letting it flick back the other way, he just holds it, basically on the lock stops. So he'll turn, uh, counter steer, it'll step out, and then once it starts to go back the other way, he just holds it. And once he starts to go backwards, then he turns the wheels the other way, so now the natural rotation of the front of the car, the wheels are already there. So it's gonna flip that car right around, and then when he goes back to drift, his wheels are already pointing the right way. If you wanna watch more experts react to car fails, click on this video right here, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss next week's upload. And now we got some stuff to do in the shop, so. Let's go. Let's do it.